few things left. We'll be starting in just a minute. All right, we are here, we are here, and hello. Hello, welcome to my kitchen. It is so good to see everybody. I hope you're doing really well today. If you heard, perhaps, some distant yelling from the other room, I don't think it would have come through the mic, but uh, I did give myself a little bit of a big spook just a moment ago because, um, I accidentally hit the power button on my computer, like right as I was coming back in here, and uh, it started shutting down. <laughs> right after I got everything set up, I started shutting down my computer. Um, but fortunately, it was like, hey, we see some programs are still running. Are you sure you want to shut down? And I was like, no, 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 no. I don't want to shut down. I absolutely do not want to shut down. So I, uh, I canceled it, fortunately. Uh, but I'll be real with you guys. This setup has been a little bit of a hassle. If my computer shut down, I probably would have just canceled the stream. If I'm being honest with you, I probably would have just called it a day at that point. But we are here. We are live. My levels look pretty good. And I think we look pretty, pretty solid. 
So yeah, welcome. Welcome to our cooking stream. Welcome to the garlic ice cream cooking stream. Uh, I see we have a few people in chat today. I saw that we have, um, we have not Chad. A little confused with our timing. I could explain that. Basically, our Thursday streams are in the evening and our Saturday streams are, well, they're supposed to be in the morning. They're supposed, ostensibly, they're supposed to be at 10 a.m. But uh, I am always running a little bit late. But yeah, Thursday streams are supposed to start at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And um, Saturday streams are supposed to start at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you check the schedule page on my Twitch profile, you will see when all of my streams are. Um, let's see, we have Hellfire Akari. Hello. Welcome to the chat. Welcome to the channel. I hope you're doing really well. I see you've run our recipe command. That's right. Today's recipe is from TasteMade. We are going to be making garlic ice cream. It, it's going to be a thing. You guys will see. It's it's not a hard recipe. You can look at the recipe. It's pretty easy. I hope that this is within my abilities as a as a chef. Um, Ink Aviator, hello. Welcome to the chat. Welcome to the channel with the little wavy wave emote. So cute. I hope you're doing really well. Um, and I think earlier, um, earlier, I, I forget who else we had in chat, but hello to you too. Um, Vale, hello, welcome to the chat, welcome to the channel, I hope you're doing really well. You say a wild abbey appears. Uh, I just ate some cinnamon sugar waffles. Holy shit, that sounds so good. I've had a protein bar and some coffee today is what I've had. Um, Akari says, I've tried wild ice cream flavors, but I can't imagine garlic. So I, I am a purveyor of wild ice cream flavors. I like all kinds of ice cream flavors. Um, I actually used to have a mac and cheese. Wait, is it still in my, hold on. Is it still in my freezer? Let's check together. Is my, I, I used to have mac and cheese ice cream. Let me see if it's still in my freezer. It might be in the very bottom here. It is. <laughs> I should definitely not eat this. I should definitely not eat this. But I do have Kraft macaroni and cheese ice cream. So yeah, you can take a look at that. Um... It was not good. What's the Best Buy on this? Oh, you know what? Best Buy August 8th, 2023. So actually, this is probably still good. Let's take a look. Yeah, that is not... Uh, <laughs> you could see that uh, it's a little freezer burnt, to put it lightly. Uh, but... That, like, ghastly shade of yellow this thing has, that is how it's sold. That is how it looks. Oh, man. You know what? We're gonna let this thaw out a little bit, and maybe we'll try some later. <laughs> maybe we'll try some later, okay? Um, Wario knows what's up. I So I should mention, by the way, I don't have my ability to, to go back and chat. Yeah, my ability to scroll back on chat, I think, is going to be pretty limited today. Let me see. Does my scroll... Oh, my scroll wheel works. Okay, no, we're good. We're good. All right, Vale says, uh, imagine... Uh, I imagine garlic constantly. Yes, me too. Exactly. Wario knows what's up. I agree. 100%. Um, let's see. Uh, Sky, oh my gosh. Hello. Welcome to the chat. Welcome to the channel. So good to see you. I hope you're doing really well. Uh, you say, OMG, Abby Kitchen. Yes! Behold, welcome to my kitchen. Welcome to my home. This is this is my actual kitchen. This is where I cook. This is where I make my meals. Um, and it's I, I think it's okay. I think it's a decent kitchen. You know, I'm a little self-conscious because I see a lot of like, you know, YouTubers and influencers and stuff. They have these like modern, like beautiful, you know, sparkly clean kitchens. But um, my home was built in the 60s. This home is older than like my parents are, right? So it's very, you know, it, it looks like this, right? It's seen, it's seen some things, but you know what? I bet this kitchen has never seen garlic ice cream. So that's, we're gonna add to its experience list here. <laughs> A nice mic holder, by the way, thank you. I did realize uh, panically as I was getting ready for this stream, I was like, you know, when I was thinking about it, I was like, I have a 50 foot XLR cable. This is fine. I could just plug my mic into my into my focus right and we're good. I didn't think about the mic holder. <laughs> I didn't consider that. So literally while I was getting ready, I was scrambling for a mic holder and I'm just using a pint glass. So 
you know, it's fine. Um, it looks very kitchen. Thank you. Thank you. If, if you could say anything about my kitchen, it's that it does look very kitchen. Um, it looks comfy though. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm happy you think so. Um, Liv JPK, hello. Welcome to the chat. Welcome to the channel. You say hi, Abby. Cute dress. Thank you. Thank you. I really love this dress. I think it's really pretty. It's super comfortable, by the way. It's like really soft. I love it. I, I'm super happy with it. It makes me feel really nice. Um, so yeah, uh, one thing I do want to mention is that, um, <laughs> we are getting our video feed from, uh, my Wi-Fi camera, also known as my phone. <laughs> um, so I am looking at my feed right now and it looks like we're maybe getting some frame loss. It looks like we're maybe getting some choppy video and, um, there's nothing I there I can't do a damn thing about that. <laughs> um, may, it might just be because of the display I'm using. I don't know. Let me know. How is the video? Is it very stuttery? Is it very? Am I losing a lot of frames? I just want to know. I'll watch the vod later, and I'll decide whether to be embarrassed about that or not. <laughs> but anyway, there's not much I could do about that. Um, yeah, I am processing this stream through my computer over in my in my studio, as I've been calling it. It's really just an empty bedroom in my home. Um, I am processing my stream through that. So, um, you know, this is all going through Wi-Fi. I'm looking at a display that I have connected via uh, Roku, right? Um, I'm using a cool little wireless air mouse that I got. Um, so, I mean, I think I think we're I think we're working pretty well. I think this is where I did a little test earlier. I think it works okay. Um, it's a little choppy, but not so much. It takes away from the experience so far. All right, all right, I'll take it. Uh, will Chandler be assisting you in the kitchen today? She will not. Chandler actually left. I don't know where she went. <laughs> she just left. I assume she is going grocery shopping or just ge just general shopping. She likes shopping. She likes looking at stuff. So she's at the house right now. Um, when she comes back, if she would like to join me, she is welcome to. But that's that's up to her. I don't I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But um. Hero's business, I'm sure. Exactly, exactly. Chandler is definitely up to Hero's business. I assume she left on some sort of quest, on some sort of urgent emergency. I assume that, you know, the city needed her for something, if I had to guess. Um, so yeah, anyway, we're just kind of chilling out. We're having a fun day. I have some drinks. I have some drinks with me. Um, I can't, I can't drink it one-handed. Unfortunately. I'm, I'm limited in my number of hands here that I have to present. Oh, I should mention as well. I should mention as well. This is not this is not a audio treated environment. In fact, it is quite big and open. So you're probably going to hear some resonance. Uh, you're probably going to hear some like sort of reverb and echo. It is what it is. <laughs> I'm really kind of embarrassed about the technical setup here. Um, but you know what? It's fine. Fuck it. We ball. So anyway, let's talk about what we're doing today. I have a little printed out recipe right here. And you can use the exclamation point recipe command to see what we will be cooking today. But we are taking a page out of the hit classic video game, The Herbs Sims in the City. Or was it the Sims? No, it is the Herb Sims in the City. In that game, you meet a vampire character. Um, or I'm sorry. You meet characters who think you are a vampire. And one of the things you do to prove that you are not a vampire is you tell them that your favorite food is garlic ice cream. Now, for those longtime fans of the channel, you might recall that I used to regularly stream gameplay of the Herb Sims in the City. In fact, not to brag, I am a world record speedrunner of the Herb Sims in the City. Um, I hold five chapter records for that game. Um, number one, top in the world. So, just just so you know. So that's kind of where this idea came from. I remember that part in the game where you talk about garlic ice cream, and I thought, I was like, hey, is that as bad as it sounds? I suspect maybe. <laughs> hey, oh my gosh, Nick! Hello, hello. Welcome to the chat. Welcome to the channel. I hope you're doing really well. Holy shit. Thank you so much for the subscription. 14 months. That's way too long. 
<laughs> That's way too long. A year plus two months? For those of you who may not know, I have known Nick longer than I have known probably anybody else who ever comes to this Twitch channel. I've known Nick for like 25 years at this point. Hi, how are you doing? I hope you're doing really well. Thank you for the subscription. As you know, everything you give goes back into supporting the channel, and I hope you enjoy your subscription. It gets you willow emotes, it gets you extra sound alerts, it gets you a special role in the Discord, and access to an exclusive episode of my podcast, Court Wreckers. So thank you again for supporting the channel. Um, oh, hearts, 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 hearts. Um, so anyway, yeah, so we're making, we're working on this recipe from Taste Made, right? I already, I have my ingredients laid out. They call that mise en place. I have very nice mise en place today. So we have heavy whipping cream. We have sugar. We have vanilla extract. We have iodized salt. And then where's, where did I put the garlic? Oh yeah, hey guys, check this out. Check this out. I think this is really cute. I got this little garlic container. I call it the garlic house. This is where we put all the garlic. It's a little terracotta container. And um, I just, that's, that's where I put all my garlic. So the recipe calls, and I, I, I gotta put this recipe on blast a little bit. It calls for two cloves of garlic. Y'all, we're not doing two cloves of garlic, okay? Are you fucking kidding me? What do I look like? Do I look like a joke? Do I look like a fucking joke to you? Two cloves of garlic? Are you fucking kidding me? Two cloves of garlic? Do you think that's enough? Absolutely not. No, no. Okay, no. We're gonna do six minimum. <laughs> We're gonna do six cloves minimum. Maybe more, depending on how I'm feeling. Um. So yeah, I just, I wanna get that squared out of way right now. Um. And then yeah, the actual recipe itself is pretty straightforward. Basically we are going to um, like boil, not boil, but like heat, we're gonna heat the heavy whipping cream over the garlic and uh, kind of let them just get all that good garlicky flavor into the uh, the heavy whipping cream. And then we are going to strain out the garlic and then we're gonna add in the rest of our ingredients, the sugar, the rest of the cream, uh, the salt, etc. I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, dissolve the sugar, stir it in, and then you, yeah, we just, uh, <laughs> Cover well and freeze until set. So that is the next part of the recipe I want to talk about. Once we mix everything together, I have a little, I have a little scheme. I have a little scheme and let me, I actually didn't, nope, I did not grab it. So I will be right back. Okay. Give me one second, please. Wait, I have an idea. <laughs> I can just take the microphone with me. I have 50 feet of XLR cable, you guys. I can just take the microphone with me. You can't see me, but you can still hear me. I'm just dragging 50 feet of cable with me right now. This is great. This is fantastic. Also, I'm gonna grab my AirPods while I'm here. Oh, Willow's here. I'm back in the studio right now and I can see Willow. Okay, yeah, my levels still look good. Great, fantastic. Vail says two cloves of garlic is bitch shit. Exactly, exactly. We're going on an adventure chat. We are. And you know what? Since I am using the Wi-Fi camera, I could have taken the camera with me. But I'll be honest, I am not 100% confident with the tidiness of my house right now. So uh, that's why I didn't take the camera with me. But I could take the microphone with me, no problem. Okay. Put that there for right now. I grab my AirPods in case my AirPods die. Okay, so let's let's talk about this. Let me take it out of, out of its box. This is a ice cream ball. I found this and I thought it would be perfect for this stream. There we go, got it. Get out of here, Fox. So this is an ice cream ball. Basically what you do is you put all the ice cream ingredients in one end and then you put a bunch of ice in the other end to keep it cold. And then you just sort of throw this bad boy around, you know, you just sort of turn it, you wiggle it you smush it and you just do that for like 20 minutes to mix up all of the cream and stuff until it turns into ice cream and then by the end of it you have ice cream it's perfect so yeah i think that's what we're gonna use today i hope it works uh i'll just put it in my dry rack for now i guess cool awesome um so yeah that's pretty much the long and short of what we're gonna be doing today um i guess we could just kind of get into it right 
So the first step is to mince our garlic. So I am wondering, do I want to use the cutting board for that? Or do I want to use, I have a little, here, I'll show you guys. I have a little garlic mincer tool. You know, we could use both. Here, I am going to have to uh, move around my setup a little bit for this, but that's okay. So as we get into it, we're going to start mincing our garlic. That is step one. That is the most important part of any recipe. Um, I want to hear from you guys. What are some of your favorite recipes? Personally, I, I enjoy cooking, but I don't like shopping for ingredients. I hate that. And uh, I don't like setting stuff up. But the actual act of cooking, I quite enjoy. There we go. What do we think of this? What do we think of this? This looks good. All right, let me grab a nice big knife. Now that's a knife. Slap. Have you made ice cream before? I haven't. Nick, that's such a good question. No, I haven't made ice cream before. Do you have any secrets on how to cook ice cream that I should maybe know about? Um, oh boy, <laughs> my display is not updating. Is my camera, is my camera busted? Uh-oh. Hello. <laughs> Do you guys see my garlic? You guys see my knife? I'm, uh, I'm streaming to a wireless display so I can look at the output and it is way, it is wicked behind right now. Holy shit. Um... All right, it looks it looks like it's still working. So you know what? Fuck it. We're just gonna go along with it. Um, I would say let me know if there are any problems, but that means chat isn't updating either. Um, well, I'm just gonna keep talking. I'm just gonna keep talking. All right. So to oh, there we go. We're getting some update. Uh, camera is still moving from here. Fail says yeah. We can still see. Okay. All right. Well, I guess that's fine. Yeah, maybe I should have worked out sort of my display situation, but whatever. I guess it's fine. Okay, so. Let's see. How many cloves of garlic? I think six, right? The recipe calls for two. Uh, I think six isn't too excessive. Here, the, the mic is a little far from me. You can still probably hear me. It should be a bit quieter and a bit more echoey, but I think you should still be able to hear me. Um... But yeah, I think we should go with six. I can be talked up to eight. I think I can be talked up to eight cloves. But we'll stick with six. All right, so one, two. Hey, you know, you guys, I'm not sure either. Anytime I cook garlic, right, it's always so, I feel so savage cleaning up the little garlic plates, you know, the, the garlic peel, if you will. I don't know if there's like an efficient way to do that. Um, how many servings does this recipe yield? That is a great question. Let's take a look at the printout. Uh, the printout says it makes six servings. So I guess if that is to be believed, it makes six servings. Hopefully that is enough to fill my, my ice cream ball. Oh, that's the wrong side. So this is the side that we put ice in. And... This is the side that we put the ingredients in. So hopefully it's not too much. It doesn't overfill this. Or hopefully it doesn't underfill it either. I guess we'll see. Okay. So we'll just tidy up our cutting board a little bit. And we'll go ahead and we will start to mince garlic. Now, when it comes to mincing garlic, I do like, as I pointed out, where did I put it? Uh-oh. I 
I had a little garlic mincing device that I showed you guys, and I don't know where I put it down. I'm gonna have to check the VOD to find out where I put my garlic, uh, mincer. No, really, did it just disappear? I don't want to do this by hand. Where did I put my garlic mincer? That little green thing I showed you guys. My garlic mincer. I thought I had my mise en place on lock. I thought I had it on mise en lock. Uh, but apparently not. It's not in my drawer. How did I lose this? Am I stupid? Do, am I gonna have to mince this garlic like a like a like a peasant? Ah, there it is. I put it behind my computer. Here it is. Okay, great, fantastic. All right. So the way I like to mince garlic, you cut off the little butt, and then you smush it with the blunt edge of your knife. Take off the peel. I'm sure you guys are actually like way better at cooking than I am. So this is probably like amateur hour. Um, but then you get your fresh garlic, put it into the little dicer, and then you just go smush. And then there you go, you get your garlic. And then you just do that to all six and you're good. Um, press the garlic, punches it full force. Yeah, of course. Of course, how else am I supposed to do it? So we could speed this up a little bit by doing a few at once. So you just chop off the butt. And then you punch it full force. There you go. Oh, actually, this one didn't get punched enough. This one's actually already pretty flat. Uh, let's see. So, I'm, <laughs> I'm all for fucking around and finding out, but do you think one clove per serving is enough? Uh, so wait, Nick, are you saying six cloves of garlic is still not enough? Again, the recipe calls for two cloves. I'm already giving us a 300% increase on garlic. Do you think I need to go harder? How much garlic do we need? And it seems like the way this recipe works is it only uses the garlic as like an infusion, right? So the garlic has you use... The, the recipe has you boil the garlic with the heavy cream and then strain it back out. So you really just kind of like infuse it. Honestly, two would probably be pretty good. I think six will be kind of nasty. Well, well, <laughs> Nick, here's the thing. Here's the thing about this champ. We're all about being nasty. <laughs> we're all, we, we're about all about getting a little nasty with it. I kind of think you're right. So if if I'm uh, if I'm kind of being real here, right? If I'm stepping outside the bit, um, I think you are probably right. I think two would probably give us a nice little like piquant of garlic, right? I think two cloves would give us like a little touch of garlic, whereas I think uh, six is probably a little too much. But you know what? That's fine. I'm all I'm all here for it. I don't know why I put all of my uh, peels in the jar. I should be throwing these out. All right, so we're at five cloves. I think we just need like one mo. I think one mo is gonna do it. Uh, pretty sure the goal is two bulbs of garlic. So deadass, I did double check the recipe. <laughs> I did double check the recipe to make sure I wasn't like misunderstanding it, right? Because it really did just say two cloves. Okay. All right, so this is our number six. Oops, I missed that one. All right, there we go. There is our beautiful, beautiful garlic. Nice, freshly minced garlic. Um. That is a lot. That does appear to be quite a lot of garlic, if I'm being honest. All right, okay, so that is step one down. This is a very simple recipe, but we are going to take it one step at a time. We're gonna take it nice and slowly. 
So let's return to our sort of little little center point here. Okay. All right. Hello. Hello. We are back here again. We are back at our center point. We are away from the cutting board now. The cutting board can go away. Goodbye, cutting board. Um, so yeah, here is all of our minced garlic. We did a very good job. Um, is the camera pointing down too much? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. All right, cool. <laughs> this tripod kind of sucks. I'm going to be real with you guys. I think that's, prob that's probably good. Okay. Um... But yeah, so, all right, let's take a look at the recipe. I'm gonna take this nice and slow, by the way. We're in no rush. We're kind of chill, chill kind of island vibes today. So we are in no rush to, to do this recipe quickly. Um, my, oh my gosh, the camera's still pointed too far down, isn't it? Yes, no? All right, whatever. Um, I'm, I'm probably gonna move the camera in a second to look at our saucepan, because we're gonna start uh, cooking this guy. All right, so. Let's take a look at step two. I think this is a bad recipe, by the way. I don't think this is a very good recipe. Uh, nice oven mitten. I like it. Thank you. Thank you. This is actually featured on one of our earlier streams when I was showing off my figment merch. But yes, we have a figment if, uh, oven mitt. It is so cute. It is a... Um, Hello, I'm Figment. I don't know what Figment the Dragon sounds like actually. I think he has like kind of a kind of like an annoying mascot voice. But yeah, it's really cute. We use the shit out of this thing. Um, all right, so our next step is to heat on medium low and simmer for five minutes. Um, okay, one cup of cream and the minced garlic. Then we remove from heat, strain into a bowl, and separate the garlic. Okay, while still hot, whisk in the sugar until. Uh, fully dissolved, allowed to cool completely. Okay. So basically, we just have to, um, yeah, heat our cream and garlic. Oh my gosh, who is this? <laughs> because of my setup, I can hear someone subscribing, but I can't see them. Miles, hello. Welcome to the chat. Welcome to the channel. It is so good to see you. I hope you're doing really well. Thank you so much for subscribing. I really appreciate it. 15 months? I've been doing this shit for 15 months. That's so fucking cringe. That's insane. So actually, we, we could talk about this. Um, I'm coming up on two years. Um, I'm coming up on two years streaming and I'm, I'm having feelings about it, right? Two years is a long time. I love streaming. It is one of my favorite things. I have met some of my favorite friends through it. And I do love that it gives me the opportunity to do fun things like this. But man, two years is a long time. So, I don't know. We could we could talk it more on, talk about it more on the two year anniversary. But I'm always interested in finding new ways to do this differently. Um, I guess I've kind of been doing that this year though, um, with weird streams like this one. Anyway, Miles, thank you again for subscribing. As you know, everything you give goes back into supporting the channel. It helps me buy stuff like garlic, heavy cream, etc. <laughs> so okay. Let's go ahead, let's get into it. Let's get into our next step. So, we need the saucepan. Let's go into oven mode. I'm gonna move the camera towards our oven. I'm gonna put my camera down for a hot second. Or, not my camera, I'm gonna put my microphone down for a hot second. Hey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like, I know I probably shouldn't. The, the, the playlist we're listening to right now is like Animal Crossing music, right? I feel like they shouldn't really trash it because obviously people like Animal Crossing music. But uh, is it just me or does this song fucking suck? <laughs> the song that's playing right now sounds pretty bad, if I'm being honest. <laughs> anyway, it'll, it'll end soon enough. Alrighty, so 
we want to put the burner on medium low one cup of cream and then add the minced garlic okay easy peasy so we'll throw this bad boy on to uh, i'll put it four out of ten and then we want one cup of heavy cream i think i might not actually have enough oh fuck i don't have enough heavy cream <laughs> I, I think i fucked up um i only bought one pint of heavy cream but the recipe calls for uh three cups and uh three cups is a pint and a half so this isn't enough heavy cream I mean, we'll just use what we have. Like, I guess it's fine. We're just going to use what we have. But I'm literally right now, live and on the channel, realizing that I am one cup of heavy cream short. So, uh, I'm sure that's fine. I'm sure that's not going to be a problem. I'm sure that'll be okay. Uh, Miles says, nah, the Animal Crossing soundtracks are real mixed bags. There's some good ambient tracks and some real stinkers. Now, I agree with you, right? I do. And I, I think that's a really scathing insight for the Animal Crossing soundtrack, especially since it's a soundtrack that generally gets pretty bigged up by the community, right? People tend to really like the soundtrack, and I think it really does need to be taken down a peg. But one thing I will say is this is a curated YouTube playlist, and this song has been going on for like three straight minutes now. I just think whoever put together this playlist probably could have done a better job if i'm being honest um it's st it's still going it's can i can i change the song please this playlist is only an hour long when it when it ends uh autoplay will will give us anything yeah i have pretty limited control over my computer from uh from here in the kitchen Guys, Willow is here. All right, yeah, I, I can't access the music from here. We're just going to have to let this play out, I guess. Um, all right, let's put the garlic in. This is the star of the show, baby. Let's put the garlic in. This is how we do it. This is how we do it, baby. 50% of the cream... 300% of the garlic. Or no, I guess we're at 66% cream. All right, and we just gotta let this sort of cook. We gotta let this simmer. Well, it still needs to heat up. Did I turn on the right burner? Yeah, I did. Okay, so it should be fine. I'm sorry, I don't mean to keep harping on it, this song is still going. It's it's so bad. It's bringing down my vibe, if I'm being honest. Okay, I'm I'm, I'm go I'm going over to while this simmers. I'm headed over to the studio. I'm changing this. I can't. How long has this been fucking go? What Animal Crossing game is this even from? Here, now I need to know. I need to know. We're 46 minutes into this playlist. This is the New Year's Night population growing theme. I don't know which Animal Crossing it's from. And yeah, it just ended. You know, honestly, I don't care for this song either. There we go. See, this is nice. This one's nice. I like this one. Next AC game just plays 3 a.m. by Matchbox 20 out of nowhere at 3 a.m. Honestly, I would love that. I would love if they did some, like, really quirked up shit for when it's, like, super late in Animal Crossing. All right, yeah, this is nicer. This is nicer. I'm sorry. I'm just, I was just standing there listening to that awful song for, like, four minutes. And it was really stressing me out, actually. All right, how's our milk doing? I'm coming. I'm coming back. I'm coming back. Let's see. Okay, it's turned into a bubble, so that's kind of cool. Is it supposed to do that? I don't know if it's supposed to do that. You got. I forgot to set a timer. Uh, t -t -t -t. timer. There we go. Perfect. 
Okay, yeah, it's getting some nice foamy peaks. Okay. It's simmering. You love to see it. Um, Vale says, well, I can't channel reward it, but, ooh. Please, yeah, 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 I will take any music suggestions you have, okay? Any tracks, any playlists, any albums. Please, we're, we're chill, we're like Saturday vibes today. We're like just hanging out. So yeah, whatever, whatever music you got for me, send it my way and I'll, and we'll, we'll listen to it. We'll hang out. All right, what do you got for us, Vale? Oh, excuse me? Siva Gunner, you shouldn't have. Siva Gunner, you should you mustn't. You can't. You mustn't. This is actually very nice. This is lifting my spirits. This is lifting me up. I don't even know what the song is be- Oh, hi. Hey guys, it smells very fragrantly of garlic in here, by the way. If you were wondering, it smells ex It smells extremely garlicky in here. Now we're boiling, baby. Yeah, we are. Okay, now we're cooking. Sizzle, sizzle it up with Abby. We're going for it, baby. Oh, the, the smell is a lot. Chandler says, by the way, she says that if I put garlic in the ice cream ball, I'm going to ruin it. And she might be right, but I don't care. I don't care. I'm willing to ruin it for the bit. I mean, how many times do you think I'll have to use it before the garlic taste is out? Surely, surely a, there, there's enough times I can use it where the garlic taste will come out. I'm trying to see if I have any hope of controlling my mouse from here. I really don't. <laughs> I really, I'm about as far from my studio as I can get in this home. That's okay. All right, let's see, two more minutes, sounds good. And after this, we are going to strain the garlic out of the cream. Now, okay, guys, I want your thoughts on something. I want your thoughts on something. So the recipe asks me to strain the garlic out of the cream, right? By the way, is the music too loud? Let me know if the music's too loud. Um, the recipe calls for me to strain the garlic out of the cream. I assume that's so when you're eating the ice cream, you don't have little chunks of garlic in your ice cream. But I kind of feel like that would sort of add to the experience. I think I should leave the garlic in this. Is that is that insane? Am I being crazy right now? I think I should because it's garlic ice cream. It's kind of like um, it's kind of like Rocky Road, right? It's kind of like how with Rocky Road ice cream, you um, you get the little chunks of cookie dough, right? Little chunks of chocolate chips and stuff. This is like that. But instead, it's chunks of garlic. So let me know. Is that crazy? Miles says, little garlic chunks in my ice cream texture would be mouth of violence to me. Okay, okay. So that's, Miles, that, that seems like a point in its favor. I hope you're real. That, that sounds like I should do this. Garlicky Road. Okay, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. We're calling it Garlicky Road. Absolutely. All right. That settles it. <laughs> this is my Garlicky Road ice cream recipe. Ready, Fox? Hello. Welcome to the chat. Welcome to the channel. It's so good to see you. I hope you're doing really well. You say hello again. Garlic ice cream for real. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Garlic ice cream for real. We have heavy cream. We have diced garlic. And we are uh, sort of boiling it to make a bit of a, a flavor infusion. A bit of a flavor uh, catastrophe, really, if I'm being honest. Um, and we're going to put it into an ice cream machine. We're going to hang out. Uh, Wario tracks. <laughs> like moose tracks, but it's Wario tracks. Uh, what else? What else would go in a Wario tracks ice cream, right? So moose tracks is like, it's like caramel and like chocolate chips and shit. What would Wario Tracks have? It would obviously have garlic, but then it would need to have something else as well. All right, cool. So time is up. What do we do? Are we taking you off heat? 
While still hot, whisk in sugar until fully dissolved. Allow it to cool completely. Okay. All right, so we're going to take you off heat. Wow. Wow, look at the way that it's boiling right now. That's real. That's really cool. I don't know if the camera's catching this. Hold on. Are you, are you seeing this? It's making like little like... That's so cool. Uh, I'm sorry, it's probably getting your, like, tripophobia off the charts right now, but it looks wild. I really like that. Okay, so, um, I did not have my music on autoplay. Wario ice cream with mustard and jelly. Gotta get that purple and yellow. Holy shit, I love that. Um, I'm gonna go put more music on. I'll be right back. It smells so garlicky in here right now. It's insane. It's insane. Okay, now we're cooking. I, I gotta move, you guys. I gotta move, because this is starting to, to scorch, actually. Oh, shit. Okay, okay, we have to whisk in the sugar. Yeah, I was not supposed to let this sit this long. It's fine. You know what? It's fine. This is gonna be okay. It is smell- I, I think I'm starting to make, like, a, um, like an Alfredo sauce. This is very rapidly becoming a carbonara. Okay, it's three and a half cups of sugar that we have to whisk in. So this is a half cup. So wait, let me, this seems like a lot. This seems like a lot of sugar. Let me make sure it's right. Yeah, okay, sorry, not three and a half cups, three quarters cups, but still, same thing. All right, that's half. And that is about a quarter, baby. All right, let's get whisking. Do I own a whisk? Guys, my mise en place is fucked up. I definitely do, though. I de Okay, guys, if anyone tells you I don't own a whisk, they're wrong and they're lying, but I can't prove it right now. So we're just gonna have to mix it with this. I don't know if this is doing what it's supposed to be doing right now. This is very goopy. All right, you know what? Actually, I think I think this is perfect. I think this is exactly what it's supposed to be doing. It's a very thick, it's kind of gelatinous, and it smells so garlicky right now. Okay, outstanding. She looks good. What else does she need? All right, once cooled, stir in the rest of the ingredients. Okay, and then that's it. That's all she wrote. So the rest of the ingredients are two cups of heavy cream, which we don't have, one tablespoon, one teaspoon vanilla extract, and a quarter teaspoon salt. Easy. Okay, so the rest of our heavy whipping cream, in you go. Yeah, you look good. She looks good. We do need another cup of this, but we don't have another cup of this, so we're just gonna have to deal. All right, and then it said a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Okay, let's see. Teaspoon, teaspoon, that's this one. And then here's our vanilla extract. All right, I'm gonna put my mic down for a sec. All right, one teaspoon, oh shit. Okay, no, that's, fu that's fine. That's actually fine. That's really you need if you want a bit more vanilla extract. Okay, and then it was what? One quarter teaspoon of salt. All 
All right, we went a little heavy handed on the salt and a little heavy handed on the vanilla extract, but it's fine. It's fine. I think this is actually better this way. All right, so we want it all to sort of mix together. We're supposed to whisk it. Oh, shit, I'm making a mess. Ugh. It's fine. It's actually fine. It's better this way. Um, yeah, the garlic mixture is kind of congealed, but I think it'll dissolve. I think it'll spread out. Let me see. Do I have any more milk? Because it doesn't need to be whipping cream. What if I just use, like, normal milk, right? Yeah, like, what if I just used another cup of almond milk? Okay. So, guys, the recipe calls for three cups of heavy whipping cream. I only had two cups of heavy whipping cream. What if instead I used one more cup of silk almond milk? Is that good? Is that going to work? You're not really cooking if half of it doesn't end up on the counter. That is true. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it. I think this is the move. So just like an extra cup of, so of soy milk. I think that'll get us there. There we go. That's perfect, actually. This looks good. I'm going to give it a little bit of heat. Just a little bit of heat so it dissolves a little bit better. Yeah, I think this is I think this is perfect actually. I think this is perfect. I think we followed the recipe to a T. So let me see. That'll actually be a good flavor cut. You think so? Okay. I mean if you say so. Oh, uh, what does it say? It says to stir in the rest of the ingredients. That's all it says. It just says stir in the rest of the ingredients. It doesn't say to like stir until evenly mixed or whatever, but like, I guess it's fine. Um, soy and garlic with emphasis on the cream. Yeah, I mean, that's what we're working with here. So what we've got in here is we have, we basically accidentally made a roux, right? First of all, we accidentally made a roux for like gumbo, right? So we, uh, we mixed together garlic and heavy whipping cream and like boiled that. Um, and then we added more whipping cream. Then we added a shit ton of sugar, a little bit of vanilla extract, a little bit of salt, and then uh, one more cup of soy milk. Of, uh, let me see. This is just unsweetened, unsweetened soy milk. Yeah. We added our other flavor for garlic road. It's tofu. <laughs> what? Okay. Okay. I love that for garlic road now. By the way, again, and again, you guys, I'm being super serious about this right now. I am looking at my levels. Can one of you just confirm whether or not the music is too loud? I feel like it's too loud. Just like, if it is, that's fine. I'll just turn it down a little bit. Um, I'm particular about these things. But yeah, just let me know. Uh, the music is perfect for me. Okay, cool. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm fine with that. So we've still got these little like gelatinous like garlic chunks. So we're just gonna let it dissolve for a little bit longer. We'll give it like, let's say five minutes. It looks like it is breaking down. So I put it under a little bit of heat. Yeah, it's under just a little bit of heat to help with the, the dissolution, which I think should work. <laughs> which means it's louder than normal, but I'm appreciating it. Yeah, I do. I will say I tend to run my music a little quiet. And I actually kind of, I kind of want, like, like usually when I listen to my VODs, I'm like, oh, dang, I ran my music quieter than I meant to run it. Like, I should run it louder. So, okay, cool. I'll, I'll take it. If it ever gets too loud, just let me know. Just let me know. So, uh, we, we've got some time to kill now. We basically need to let the, um, the garlic roux sort of dissolve into our mixture here before we put it into the ice cream machine. And then once we put it into the ice cream machine, we're just going to kind of chill out and we're going to mix the ice cream for about 20 to 30 minutes. So, uh, basically, we have time to just sort of chat, just sort of hang out, listen to some music and chill on this Saturday afternoon. So I brought up the uh, I brought up the subject earlier, but I was wondering if any of you had any recipes that you particularly liked to cook. So I'll, I'll start with one of mine, and I've actually shared this one with the Discord. Um, as you guys know, we have a Discord. It's the best Discord on the internet. You can get to it by uh, the exclamation point Discord command. 
But um, one of my favorite recipes is a chickpea feta couscous recipe. It's um, basically a chickpea recipe that you cook in couscous, and it uh, has feta cheese on top. It has roasted vegetables. Uh, you roast the chickpeas so they get nice and crispy. It's really good. Uh, and if you're interested in making it, the recipe is on the Discord in the library channel. Um, but yeah, let me know. I'm always in the market for new recipes. I particularly like vegetarian recipes. I try to minimize my e meat consumption, but I don't mind the occasional meat recipe. Um, chilling all around. We are chilling all around. And actually, we will be taking chilling to a new level once we start uh, making the ice cream. All right, I think this is pretty well dissolved. I think this is as good as it's gonna get. So now I do have to transfer this into the ice cream machine. And I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that. This is gonna get messy, I think. I'm gonna need two hands for this. Okay. You guys, wish me luck on this. So here's what we're gonna do. Here's the plan. I'm putting my microphone down, so I'm probably not gonna sound any good, but you know, it is what it is. Okay, so I'm gonna take off the bottom, which I have a flat work, so I have a flat surface to it. And then we're gonna put it down like this. And then we're gonna open it up. We have our, uh, we have our instructions here, which we're not gonna read, obviously. <laughs> Um, I've got a killer scratch pear mini, uh, scratch pear mini pie recipe. It's only the Western sweet my mother-in-law likes. Oh, I love that. Okay, that sounds great. Decant that pitch. Exactly. Okay, that's basically what we're going to do. Okay, so I'm going to try and get as much of this into the ice cream machine as I can, and the least amount of this onto my stove as I can. It actually just barely fits. We actually do have some of the garlic gubbins that are not going to be going into our, our recipe, into our uh, ball here. I'm going to I'm gonna empty a little bit of this because this feels like too much. This is a grisly scene. This is getting grisly. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, guys, I, I need to be real. This this smells like an Italian kitchen right now. Like, it smells like a straight-up olive garden in here. This is not what ice cream should smell like, I don't think, under any circumstance. So let's clean up a little bit. Turn our burner off, obviously. Okay. I think this is actually against all odds. I think this is looking pretty okay. So now what we need to do is we need to put some ice into the bottom so that we can chill this. this bottom side is Alright, so what the ice is going to do is it's going to uh, provide a cold reservoir for the cream so that it can cool into ice cream. Ink Aviator says, I have some ginger cookies my grandma showed me how to bake. They take less than 30 minutes and are chewy and delicious. Oh shit, that sounds really good. Ginger garlic ice cream would actually be kind of interesting. Yeah, it would. Bale says, turn that burner off. I did, I did. Put the extra over some pasta. Actually, that would have been pretty solid. 
Um, now, if I were prudent chef, I'd say do this in the sink. Too late. Um, wait, is this an induction soap? It's not, but I already turned the burner off, so it's fine. All right, I'm gonna put the ice in. This thing fits so much more ice than I had thought. This thing, like, it, it's gonna fit almost my entire ice tray. Um, ice cubes sublimating over there. They are, they are, because the burner is still kind of hot. It's fine. All right, I think our ice cream machine is complete. Your ice cubes sublime. Thank you, thank you. Oh, this, this, this bad boy is heavy. This bad boy is heavy. All right, my ball, my uh, ice cream machine is covered in garlic butter right now, so I'm gonna wipe it down. And I'm gonna put my ice tray back. All right, we're almost there. Time to move the camera back and then it is time to just chill for a little bit. So let's move our camera back. Let's see. Give me one second, please. Okay, so I did just, fuck, okay. Uh, I did just drop my microphone on the ground. <laughs> Hi, oh fuck. I just dropped my microphone on the ground. I hope it's still good. Let me see, I'm talking into the right end. Hey, how do I sound? Hey guys, do I sound okay? Do I sound all right? I'm really hoping I didn't break the, um, the window in my microphone. I sound good, okay. Okay, holy shit. If I broke this mic, I would be so upset. It is, uh. Microphone still works, confirmed. Okay, fantastic. I don't, and also, hold on, let's see. Did I break my mic holder? Nope, my mic holder is still good, baby. Look at it, my dirty cup, it's still good. Okay, so we still have a mic holder, okay. <laughs> fantastic, okay, Jesus. I was really worried for a second and my camera is pointed a little too high up. Let's see if we can fix that. All right, sorry, I didn't mean to give you guys a, a start. Well, now my camera's pointed too far down. Man, I cannot, I cannot balance the uprights here. Okay, how about that? How about that? Is this? Yeah, there we go. There we go. We look good. We look good. 
All right, let's get our little ice cream machine. Just talking into my microphone backwards. Um, microphone still works, confirm. Uh, what mic you got? This is a Audio Technica AT2020, I want to say. If you're really interested, DM me after stream and I'll send you a link to it. But uh, I kind of forget off the top of my head. Um, but yeah, it's, it's an Audio Technica. It's um, a condenser mic. It's pretty nice. It's a solid mic. Um, okay, so we got to wibble this around for... We gotta throw this around, we gotta shake it, we gotta mix it, we gotta stir it, we gotta keep it moving for 20 minutes. And that'll turn our cream into ice cream. At least that's how they advertise this thing. Um, this thing is way heavier than I was expecting. This is like a medicine ball, right? Um, and it is actually kind of tiring to move it around. I don't know if I can keep this up for 20 minutes, but we'll try, we'll try. Like it's it's significantly heavy. I'm not kidding. Let's see, Reed Fox says, I'm running a condenser. Yeah, okay, all right, love it. Wait, there isn't like a thing to rotate it? This would be a great multiplayer activity. Play catch with the ice cream ball, also dangerous. So that is actually how this product is marketed, right? It's supposed to be like, it's supposed to be like a fun, like friend, like family activity, right? It's like you and you and your gang, you and your friends, you and the family, you all hang out, you throw around the ice cream ball, you know, you play catch, you, you play rollies, you move it around for 20 minutes. And then at the end of it, you all get to share in some very nice, very tasty ice cream. Uh, dangerous? I mean, hey, it's only dangerous. It's only dangerous if you're bad, right? It's only, da it, it, you know what? I'll, I'll put it like this. It's not any more dangerous than playing with like a medicine ball. You know, it's not any more dangerous than playing like a normal sport. So as long as you're like strong and athletic and dexterous and good at throwing balls, right? Like I am clearly. Then it's not that bad. Then it's not that bad. You're good. Or drunk. Ooh, actually, <laughs> I feel I feel like, okay, this is the vibe I'm picking up, right? You and your buds, you make a bonfire, right? You make a bonfire, you have some drinks, you play some music, you hang out, and you throw around the ice cream ball. That actually sounds kind of fun. Uh, so it actually has like a rubbery exterior. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's still, it has a rubbery exterior. It's still pretty firm. Like it's still pretty solid. Like this would hurt. Like if it hit you, it would hurt. Absolutely it would, you know? As long as you're balling, exactly. As long as you're balling, this ice cream maker is not dangerous. Uh, that sounds like the ice cream ball will end up in the bonfire. <laughs> it sounds like the ice cream ball will end up in the bonfire. Yeah, yeah, right, exactly. I don't know, though, like, you don't have to throw it over the bonfire. That seems like it's kind of missing the point, right? You gotta keep it cold. Uh, does it feel cold? Not a little bit. It feels a little cold. At some point, I'll probably need to replace the ice in this. Especially since the ice cream, or especially since the cream started out warm, right? So we'll probably need to refresh the ice. I don't know. We'll check it out at the 20 minute mark. So, um, Vale had asked, doesn't it have a rotating part to do this for you, right? And the answer to that is yes. Most ice cream machines will do this part for you. Most ice cream machines have a mechanism that will keep the cream moving to whip it into ice cream, right? But this is like a this is like a, a quirky uh, uh, invention, the ice cream ball. I also didn't want to buy an ice cream machine because it's like, look at my kitchen. I already have enough appliances, you know. 
I have the air fryer. I have the KitchenAid. I have a microwave. I have a stove. I'm like, I have enough shit. Like, I have enough appliances. I have enough stuff. Um, I don't need another appliance. So I didn't want to get an ice cream machine. This seemed more fun. And so far, I think it is. And actually, if I had another person to do this with, I feel like it would be more fun. But it's fine. I'm very strong. I can I can manage this. I already feel the ice melting, by the way. <laughs> the ice is already melting. Oh god, we're okay. We're only five minutes in. Okay. You know what? Hold on. I know it doesn't fit my outfit, but if I'm gonna be doing physical activity, I'm gonna go get my Fitbit, okay? I want this shit to count. If I'm gonna have an elevated heart rate, I want it to count. I'm gonna go put my Fitbit on. I'm gonna be right back, okay? I'm gonna be right back. Who's subscribing? Who's subscribing? Uh, Ready Fox, thank you so much. Thank you so much for subscribing. I really appreciate it. As you know, everything you give goes back into supporting the channel. I hope you enjoy your subscription. You get nine unique Willow emotes. You get like 10 extra sound alerts. You get a special role in the Discord and you get access to an exclusive episode of my podcast a Ace Attorney podcast called Court Wreckers. So thank you again for subscribing. I really appreciate it. All right, so I am wearing my Fitbit now. I know it doesn't really go with the outfit, but you know what? That's okay. That's okay. I can feel the ice like sloshing around now. Let's see, you know, how about once we hit 10 minutes, we, uh, we'll, we'll do a little vibe check on this and see how she's coming along to see if we're making any progress on this. Now, I don't know. Maybe you guys can help me out with this. I, and this is gonna sound insane. I don't know how ice cream works, right? How does moving it around turn it into ice cream? So basically the way that we make ice cream is we take the cream, we move it around and we keep it cold. Why do I have to move it around? I feel like I'm being gaslit. Like, how does this turn it into ice cream? <laughs> they didn't have one the size of an exercise ball. I, first of all, Frank Drescher. Hello, welcome to the chat, welcome to the channel. It's so good to see you. I hope you're doing really well. Second of all, they kind of did. This is the size of a medicine ball. This is like exactly the size. It's actually like the size and the weight of a medicine ball. Um, now, it isn't the size of a yoga ball. I can't sit on this thing, obviously. Oh, hey, Chandler's home. Hi, Chandler. <laughs> Chandler says it absolutely reeks of garlic in here. Hi, how you doing? You're cute. I'm doing good, we're making ice cream. Yeah, Chandler says it reeks of garlic in here, which, uh, yeah, big if true, it probably does. I feel like I'm gonna have to take a shower when I'm done. Uh, slowly freezing while also mixing air into it and keeping the ice crystals small. Oh, that's so cool. This is an evil experiment. What? Frank, how is this an evil experiment? I don't think it seems evil. I think it's fun. I'm having fun. <laughs> Uh, well, you need it to be solid, but not like a block of frozen milk. It needs to be smoothie. I, I guess that's true, right? Because if I didn't move it, if I just put this in the freezer, it would just turn into like, it would just turn into like a block of ice. And that's not what we want. 
Wow, the ice like has completely melted by now. Can you hear it? I, is that coming through on the mic when I like wiggle this? Can you hear the ice sloshing around? I think this is coming along really well. I guys, this is so unflattering. This is so like, but I I am like getting tired here. Like I am like, <laughs> I do feel like I'm like a little bit on the spot here. Slorsh, yeah. Do you do you hear the ice slorshing? Oh my gosh, Chandler, Chandler, you got. It looks like she got good food. We're going to we're going to D and D later today. Hi, do you want to be on stream? There you are. <laughs> yeah, you're there. Hi. Hi. Nice. Ooh, I am I'm very excited to see all the stuff you got. Fail says hi Chandler. Wow, looking cool, Chandler. Wow. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. That's way better than what I'm making. Hey Chandler, do you think I should bring the, the garlic ice cream? Should I bring the garlic ice cream with me to D&D tonight? I don't know, I think it's gonna be pretty good. All right, we're at the 10 minute mark, so let's go ahead and check up on our ice cream to see how it's coming along. Just a bit. It turns out I needed three cups of heavy cream, but I only had two. So for the last cup, I used soy milk. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Vale says, I love the colors on Chandler's dress. I do too. You're really cute, Chan Chandler. Guys, Chandler is so cute. Isn't she like so cute? <laughs> I love her. Um, all right, let's 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 take a look. Let's see how our ice cream is coming along. Sorry, I'm having trouble opening this thing. Give me one more second, give me one more second. I'm not even kidding. I can't open this. I can't. It's sealed. It's sealed for our protection, I think. It's it's sealed for our crimes against ice cream. Here, I'll, I'll try. I'll try. I'll try some more. G give me one sec. can't do it. I can't open this. I'm sorry. I don't know what to do. I can't open it. I think I might have to get a tool of some, descript some description. I think I might have to go to my toolbox and get like pliers or something. I can't open this. I'm not strong enough. Okay. Okay. So here it's this side. Feel free to use the, the green lever, right? Feel free to leverage yourself on that. Um, all 
What? Yep. Wait, what the fuck? Oh. Oh. But this is not a bit, by the way. Chandler just did that. All right, so here, I'm ooh, I'm gonna need both hands for this, but I'm gonna show you guys what we're working with so far. Honestly, it doesn't even seem like it's very close. It, does, it doesn't seem like it's even very close. I think I need to refresh the ice and go for like another 20 minutes. Okay. All right. Let's see. Um... Ink Aviator says, it's like Sword in the Stone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Chandler says, it might be too much milk and not enough whipping cream, too. Uh, hmm. We'll see. It might. It might be. I'd expect, like, an hour for this kind of thing, honestly. Uh, possibly more vigorous shaking, too. Dang. Dang. <laughs> okay, well, we're, we're just going to try our best. We're going to try our best here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to refresh the ice. I want my ice cream, okay? I'm really setting myself up for a hero's journey here, I feel like. You know? I feel like, you know, I want this to work out so badly, and I want this to be like actual ice cream, but it is possible that as Chandler says, I'm working with impossible odds here. This might not be doable. It might just straight up be too much cream or sorry, not enough cream, too much milk, but we'll see. Okay. All right. We've got more, we've got more ice in here now. Let's get back at it. Let's get back at it. Um, start rolling it around on the floor. Yeah, I think you'll want to keep. You'll want to be rolling it around too. Okay. No, but like the portion you used that was milk is soy milk, which is already thicker and has a solider base than milk. Okay. There's no cant in garlic ice cream. <laughs> I did the math. Wait. Okay, so we've got a C. We've got an A. No N, and no T. So you're right, there is no cant in garlic ice cream. Keep going, we'll turn, we'll turn this into garlic ice cream. Here, see, I'll give it a little, give it a little. We're good, we're good. It's fine. Just got a little bit of, a little bit of judge on it. That's all. <laughs> uh, here, let's turn a timer back on, by the way. Uh, let's give ourselves 
10 minutes. Or let's give ourselves, yeah, 10 more minutes. Okay. All right, so. It is, it is difficult, right? Because there's only so vigorous I can get. I feel like there's only so vigorous I can get with one hand, right? I like that emote. I like that emote, Frank. Very good. Let's see. Um, maybe if I like spin it. I don't know. I'm like kind of. I'm like kind of doing the equivalent of rolling it, right? Or like if we do one of these, like a little twist, right? A little twist, like I feel like an ice cream machine would probably do. Yeah. No. This is good. This is good. All right, we're gonna keep doing this. We're gonna keep doing this 10 more minutes, I think. And then we'll see how that goes. So earlier today, earlier today, I was playing Sea of Thieves with two of my dear friends. Um, and that would be uh, Vitrix underscore VT on Twitch and twitch.tv slash late June 27. Uh, Vitrix, by the way, is spelled V-I-T-R-I-X-I-E underscore V-T. I actually forget how to spell it. I'm a bad friend. It's either I-E or E at the end. But anyway, uh, we were playing Sea of Thieves this morning. They were live. I was on their, I was on their streams. It was a very fun time. And um, it's been a while. It's been a minute since I've had the chance to play Sea of Thieves with them. And um, I don't know if any of you guys have ever played that game. But it's pretty, it's pretty fun. It's a good game. Um, you may be aware that it was produced by Rareware, the people who developed Banjo-Kazooie, uh, Banjo-Tooie, Conker's Bad Fur Day, Goldeneye for the uh, Nintendo 64. And it's kind of nice that they're actually making real video games. Because as you may recall, for a time in the 2010s, they were busy making uh, like shitty Kinect games for the Xbox 360. So yeah, it's kind of nice. I'm not an expert in Sea of Thieves. I kind of do whatever um, whatever Vitrix tells us to do when we play that game, but uh, it's still fun. It's a good time. This is this is taking more out of me than I was expecting. And you know what? That gives me a lot of appreciation for the ice cream I do eat, if I'm being honest. Let's see, Rare Rare also made a little niche series called Donkey Kong Country, I hear. I, okay, I forgot about that one. <laughs> I was trying to think of all the games that Rare made, right? And Banjo-Kazooie was really the first and only one that came to mind for me. And then all the other games I mentioned was basically just me like grasping for examples. Um, but yeah, that's right, they did do Donkey Kong Country, didn't they? Let's see. The Kinect games were their sentence for nuts and bolts. Okay. Okay. Okay, we could talk about this. We could talk about this. Nuts and bolts was good. There, I said it. There, I said it. Nuts and bolts was a good video game. Um, for those of you who may not be aware, Rare Rare made Banjo-Kazooie, a very popular game for the N64. It was a very good game. It was a 3D open world adventure game. Uh, you could describe it as a collect-a-thon, but like in an affectionate way, right? It was kind of like Mario about collecting stars, but they were jigsaw pieces called jiggies. Anyway, they made a sequel called Banjo-Tooie, which was a rare example of a sequel that is better in every single way. It's a sequel that just keeps adding more stuff. It was a bigger game. It had more more stuff to do, more moves, more levels. It was a phenomenal sequel. Banjo-Tooie is one of the best games for the N64. Then, Rare proceeded to not make any Banjo-Kazooie games for like a decade. Rare gets bought by Microsoft and they make a game called Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, which is a game about building little Lego vehicles and driving them around doing challenges. It was totally unlike the first two Banjo-Kazooie games, and people were fucking pissed. People hated it. But honestly, I think it's pretty good. 
Um, Bale says, Connect games were a sentence devs were sent to regardless of their sins. <laughs> it was just uh, it was just something that the cold and unfeeling uh, bots at Microsoft would do to all their dev studios. Um, I you know what? I did not have a Connect, and I did not play any of the Connect games, so I don't actually know if they were good or bad. I've thought about getting a Connect for uh, VTubing. You guys might remember the one time I did a VTube stream and it kind of sucked. Apparently you can um, map a connect for the art, the uh, hand tracking. And I think that would maybe add a lot of life to a VTube avatar. So I don't know. I thought about getting one. You can get them pretty cheap these days, but never really followed up on it. QB says, check your discord. Hey, can somebody else check my discord for me and tell me if I need to check my discord? Because if it's important, like, I will. But, QB, I have a feeling it's not important. <laughs> um, let's see. Miles says, We're all entitled to a problematic fave game. I have a lot of criticism for Too Human, but I still love it. Uh, you know what? You're right. You're right. And I would say that Banjo-Kazooie uh, Banjo Nuts and Bolts is my problematic fave. Absolute. That's a good way of putting it, actually. Because, you know what? I can, I can acknowledge... I can acknowledge why I um I can acknowledge why people were disappointed with Nuts and Bolts and why they think it is an objectively bad game. I think there are very fair criticisms to that. I just happen to like it. I happen to think that it's pretty good. Um list of second games in a series that added a lot of great stuff and improvement to the first game. Banjo Tooie, Spyro, Ripto's Rage. Sonic 2. <laughs> like, so it, it is one of those things where, like, a lot of sequels, I don't know, especially these days, a lot of sequels will kind of revert to the status quo, right? Um, and then kind of go from there. How do I put this? Okay, let, let me explain it like this. In Banjo-Kazooie, you start out with a certain move set, and then throughout the game, you expand your move set as you explore the world, right? Uh, there's a resource you have that you can use to buy new moves at a certain character, basically, right? Now, in a lot of games like that, in the sequel, you would have to unlock all those moves again, for example, but not in Banjo-Tooie. When you start Banjo-Tooie, you have the entire character moveset that you have at the end of Banjo-Kazooie, and then the game proceeds to just give you more and more stuff to do it adds on to what the game had at the end of the first one. It's incredible. I feel like there aren't a lot of games that are, like, creative enough to do that, to fill that de design space, you know? Let's see. Uh, Chandler says, check what part of the Discord. It's like a million categories. Um, Miles says, additional goaded sequel, Pokemon Gold. Ooh, hell yeah. I, and this is maybe my problematic opinion, and maybe it's because I didn't grow up with it. I didn't grow up with Pokemon uh, Red and Blue. They're not good. <laughs> like I get that, I get why they're important and all that, right? But they're like they don't hold up. Oh my God, Chandler got Chipotle. Oh my God, I'm so guys. Sorry, I have to end the stream right now to eat Chipotle. I'm sorry, stream's over. I'm gonna go eat Chipotle. It's, uh, it's really like garlic chicken. Oh, garlic chicken, huh? Because I'm not gonna get enough garlic in me today. Um, let's see. So yeah, that was my problematic opinion that Pokemon Red and Blue are not very good. Um, Vale says they're either just more of the first or very experimental. Right, that's how a lot of sequels go, I think. Also, oh shit, Metroid 2. But yeah, most series don't nail it until the third game. I agree. I agree. Oh, here. Sure. <laughs> All right, Chandler's helping me out. See, this is the power. I have. I only have one hand. I'm. I. I can. I can't do that. Silence is death. Okay, yeah, listen. Listen to the jiggle. 
I can't stop talking, okay? Silence is death in live streaming. Yeah. So that's been another 10 minutes. Thank you, Chandler. Oh, wow. Actually, I think that really did help, actually. Here, let's, <laughs> let's do another vibe check on our ice cream. Yeah, I think I can do it this time. I can do it. I can do it. Chandler, I can do it. I can do it. How do you do this? I don't know how Chandler can open. Th I can't open this. Can you show me your technique? Okay. Also, I do need to hydrate. Let's see, Vale says, yeah, no, red and blue are held together with paper clips, impressive, but gold and silver really finish the product and then go above and beyond. Yeah, they do. All right, Chandler's gonna show me her secret technique. Let's see. Yeah. I actually completely see how she did, I completely see how she did that now. All right, let's take a look. Yeah, this still this still has some some <laughs> this still has some shaking to do. It's still not ready. I don't know. I don't know how much more of this I can do. How did I completely misplace my duster? Where did I put it? Ooh, what are we dusting today? What are we dusting today, Vale? Okay. All right. I'm going to put the mic down for a sec. I'm going to put the mic down for a sec. And I'm just going to go hardcore two-handed on this. I'm just going to shake it as much as I can, okay? This is seriously tiring. This is actually tired. Like, this is an actual workout. Um, let's see, Vale says, my room, it's so dusty. Oh, I see, it's, yeah, you know what? This is my imperative to all of you. Everybody listening, everybody watching, clean your room right now, clean your fucking room. Even if it's just a little bit, do a bit of dusting, vacuum your space, throw away a few pieces of garbage. Do a bit of cleaning right now. That's my command to you. Vale says, actually, it's not as bad as it has been the past couple of weeks. Don't know what that was about. <laughs> no, honestly, I feel like sometimes, sometimes my living space is just like a disaster for no reason. It feels like, you know, but you, it gets better. It gets better. Paula, hello. Welcome to the chat. Welcome to the channel. So good to see you. Oh, dear goodness. What is this silly girl up to now? Hi, Abby. Hell no, I already cleaned my room. Uh, do, it, do it again. Do some more cleaning. It's fine. We're making garlic ice cream, or at least... Huh, we are fucking trying. We are trying against all odds to make garlic ice cream. Holy shit. I've been doing this for like 30 minutes now. All right, I'm going to shake it some more. I'm going to shake it some more.
All right, you know, I got an idea. I got an idea. I think it might still be too warm because we cooked it on the stove, maybe. I'm just going to put this in the freezer for a little bit, right? Like, not, I'm not going to put it in the freezer so long that it freezes. You know what I mean? But just to, like, cool it down. I think it needs to be cooled down a little bit. I'm going to put it in the freezer. Yeah. I'm going to put it in the freezer for, like, seven minutes. And then we'll take it out, refresh the ice, and then shake it some more. And then we'll see where that gets us. Not sure if I was in frame when I was putting that in the freezer. I don't know if I need to be embarrassed right now or not. It's fine, I think. <laughs> um, that's why you need an ice cream churn. So here's the thing. I thought about getting a proper ice cream machine. I thought about getting a proper one, which would have been more like a mechanized ice cream churn. But I was like, that's boring. That's not fun. You know what's fun? This cool ball I get to throw around on stream. That's fun. I thought it would be fun. But it's hard. <laughs> it's hard work out here. I'm doing the hard work. Um, Honestly, this thing just needs a little platform with some rolling parts on it. I mean, again, again, you're just rebuilding an ice cream churn. That's just what an ice cream churn does. That's a normal thing that exists already. Um, <sighs> yeah, I don't know. True, but it's more of a workout. It, it is. And like, I don't know that I, look, I don't know that I need a workout, right? Because most of the time after my Saturday stream, I go out and I go for a run anyway, right? And then I, and then I have some floor exercises. I have some weight exercises I do. I don't need a workout, but I guess, I guess it doesn't hurt, right? Especially with my, my latest streams where I sit on the yoga ball, right? Like that's a little gets a little bit of core engagement a little bit of extra extra workout right so i guess it doesn't hurt but i'm like lazy <laughs> i'm like lazy okay i don't i don't need this shit oh boy all right i'm a little dehydrated i'm gonna drink some water i'm gonna drink some water Holy shit, water is so good. Holy shit, you guys, water is so fucking good. Um, let's see, Miles says, build a little wheeled frame for it. Tie that frame to a treadmill and set it to max. Yeah, it's that easy. It's that easy. I just need fucking carpentry skills and I'm off to the races. Um, I mean, again, we are just rebuilding. We are just rebuilding an ice cream machine at this point. Oh, excuse me. Oh my God. At this point, we are just rebuilding an ice cream machine. We don't... If I wanted an ice cream machine, I would have just bought an ice cream machine. Um, but if I... It, hey. If I had a treadmill, which I don't. And I had a little wheeled frame. Which I don't. That would work really well. That would be perfect. That's a good idea. I like it. Um, run, run poop on running... Lol, when you get my age, it ain't worth running. I disagree. I disagree. I think running is for everyone. Or at least, okay, maybe I should rephrase that. I think light cardio is for everyone. Maybe not running, but maybe a little walk. Maybe a brisk jog. I think it behooves everybody to get active and to stay active. I think it's a, a very useful thing. I love running. I listen to audiobooks. I get to go outside. I get to be in the sun. Oh, it's, it's, I feel, it's one of the few times I feel balanced. I feel centered, right? It's, um, I don't know, it's, 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 I actually really value it. I like running. I like streaming, too. I like being able to, to perform and do stuff. Um, so, yeah. Oh, Willow's here. I didn't even realize that. Guys, Willow is here. She's here. Do you guys want to look at Willow? Let's look at Willow. There she is. There's the baby. I love her so much. I love this cat. 
more than anything. She's so sweet. This is one of her favorite laying spots, too. Usually, like, you know, there's like a big sunbeam that comes through this window, and she really likes it. I just love this cat. I'm sorry, I just need to I just need to talk about that because I love her. Okay, that's probably fine. Let's see, Lily, hello, welcome to the chat, welcome to the channel, it's so good to see you. I hope you're doing really well. Dondra, hello, welcome to the chat, welcome to the channel. I hope you're doing really well, holy shit. Um, fluffy cat, sleepy kitty, kitty, yeah, I know. I know, I love her. Honestly, honestly, I should just let this stream be Willow at this point, you know? Willow is, Willow is cuter than me. Willow is more exciting than me. I think she would be a better host for a stream than I would be. Um, God, I can't I can't stop looking at her. I love that cat. I love that cat so goddamn much. Hi, but okay, Jandra and Lily, you guys, uh, I guess you're, you're just dropping in, so let's talk about what we're doing. So we are making ice cream. Um, basically, at the start of the stream, we uh, put together a little ice cream blend. We have, um, we put together heavy whipping cream, sugar, salt, and of course, garlic. We cooked the garlic in a pan to really get the flavors, really get the oils and fragrances out. And then we mixed it all together and we put it in an ice cream machine. Um, our ice cream machine is not a normal ice cream machine. It is a sort of ball that you throw around to mix the cream. And I have been using it for the past 30 minutes and I am tired. <laughs> I am kind of tired it's a lot of work but we're gonna take another shot at it for probably another 10 or 20 minutes um basically you put ice into the ball and then you put your cream into the ball and then you throw it around and the ice keeps it cool and the motion churns the cream and turns it into ice cream so i have it in the freezer right now because i wanted it to cool down a little more i suspected that maybe it was a little too warm um my music just went away where'd my music go i want my music I want my music. Hold on. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go over to my computer really quick and see where my music went. Oh wait, hold on. No. Okay. Yeah. Let me go. Get, let me go get us some music. I'll be right back. And then we'll we'll see if we have an update on our ice cream. Okay, so it turns out what had happened was my playlist ended. So I just started us up with a new playlist. So we have more music now. That's great. All right, so our ice cream machine has been in the freezer. I know, I know microwave. Our ice cream machine has been in the freezer for about eight minutes now. So I'm going to go ahead and grab it and refresh the ice and see how it's looking. Alright, we are definitely feeling colder now. I should have done this from the start, I think. I should have done this from the start, I think. Because part of the recipe involved cooking our cream in a uh, in a saucepan. I think that kept it too warm. I think we're in business now. I think this is going to take us places. So let's check out the ice and let's see if we can uh, refresh the ice.
can't, I can't open this. I don't know how Chandler does it. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go try to open this thing. Hold on. I did it. I got it open. Believe it or not, I got it open. So I'm going to pour out the water now because some of this has melted into water and we're going to put more ice in. Alright, so actually there wasn't even that much water entrapped in it, but that's fine. We still want to add some fresh ice into it so it's nice and cool. I think our, our freezer is going to run out of ice soon, so when that happens, I don't know what I'm going to do. Okay, so we've got our cream, we've got our ice. Now it is just a matter of shaking this thing. I, yeah? Okay, we can try that. But here, let me uh, let me see if I can frame this better. Let me see if I can frame this better. Um, Chandler has suggested that we we roll the ball around, I guess, like a like a sort of soccer ball situation. Well, no, I mean the the just product description says to just roll it around in any in any form. I mean, it's definitely going to be easier on my upper body, so. Is this, a, is this anything? Now, do you think we can make some sort of game? Whoa, okay, you're going, you're going really hard. Yeah, actually, what time is it? Oh, it's two o'clock. Ah, oh, we got plenty of time. We we got plenty of time before d and I have to make sure that this ice cream, oh shit. No, it's fine, we're good. So I have uh, d and today at 6.30. And I need this garlic ice cream to be ready before D&D &D so that everybody can enjoy it. Because obviously, 
Obviously, I want to share this with other humans. No, you don't think so? I don't know. I don't know if Chandler's voice is coming across on the uh, on the audio, but she said, uh, "Imagine a, ner a room full of sweaty nerds eating garlic ice cream. I would rather die." Uh, and yeah, honestly, that's fair. <laughs> now I will say, um, this sort of strategy of letting of letting gravity and letting circular momentum do the job for us, it's a lot easier. Oh no, I don't like this. <laughs> Miles says, uh, Abby Feet Stream banned. So, okay. <laughs> I am going to be honest. I was thinking about that. Chandler, you do have the dogs out. You got the dogs out for free right now. Not going to lie. <laughs> Chandler doesn't wear shoes in the house. You know what? It's fine. If you want to be weird about our feet, that's on you. <laughs> but, you know, that did, that did literally cross my mind. I'm like, is this weird? And I'm like, it's only weird if I make it weird. Uh, yeah, now I've made it weird. Uh, vale says, that's my, uh, that was my point. The whole thing about treating feet like this is so weird to me. I, so, like, I've said this before on stream. Chandler says 90% of the time people are joking. I, I think that's it, right? Like. I am, I'll, I'll be open about this. I'm not a foot person. Like, I don't get it. I don't get it, but I know for a lot of people, it like is a thing. So I think it's kind of funny, like as a joke. Miles says, I have never understood it either. I, you know what? I guess it's just one of those things. One of those things that us normies will never understand. This is kind of, this is kind of fun. This is way easier than the way I was doing it. Um, I haven't had a timer running. How long do you think we should do this for? How much longer do you think we should do this for? Damn, it says 10 more minutes. I'll put a timer for 10 more minutes. I don't know that we have to do it for the whole 10 minutes. Chandra says, this is why intentional, intentionally showing feet on stream is TOS. Is it really? I didn't know that. See, I could do whatever I want. <laughs> I'm I'm not popular enough. What's that? <laughs> you know, Chandler, I'll leave that up to you. If you're feeling self-conscious and you want to... Oh. Uh, actually, they probably can, Chandler, if the... Yeah, the chat is covering up uh, some of the frame. Oh. Yeah, from your view. Actually, is Chan is Chandler in frame right now? I don't know. I can't tell because my uh, my preview window is blocked a little bit. Uh, they say you're not in frame. Okay, so it's literally just me right now. What what is this stream? What has this become? Now I, I'm I'm just imagining. Me, two, five, ball, ice cream maker. So why, why are we making I, look, I'm just saying I'm imagining, I'm imagining a hypothetical person in the Twitch food and drink category, and I don't know why they're scrolling down to you know, the a 13 view channel. But just being like, huh, garlic ice cream. And it's just me kicking a ball off frame. Like, what is this? This is nothing. Sports stream. <gasps> yes. Okay, Vale says sports stream. I think I changed my category to sports. I think that's the move. Oh, got it. And then Miles did clarify that he was joking about the feet thing. So that's okay. I, I appreciate that. 
Um, sports cooking. Okay, I think I think we are opening up a new genre of like sports cooking, right? I love the idea. You know, like the triathlon in the Olympics, right? You know how like the triathlon is like, what is it? It's like running, swimming, biking or whatever. What if you had a triathlon where it was like running, cooking a gourmet meal and then like rock climbing or something? <laughs> yeah, you think that would be way more interesting? Yeah. Hey, can you guys hear what, when Chandler is talking, can you hear her? She's on the other side of the room, so I don't know if uh, if she would be audible. Just let me know. I don't I don't know if I have to repeat everything she says or not. But yeah, like I I love the idea of like somebody runs like like 23 miles or whatever, right? And then they have to make a, a five star meal for Gordon Ramsay, and he's like, "Your chicken is fucking undercooked" or whatever, and it's like, "Oh damn." This is actually also pretty tiring, not gonna lie. It, you're right, it isn't in the same way. How are you feeling? I mean, that is true. I have been standing here for quite a while. Yeah, I also got like four hours of sleep, so I'm 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 doing a lot right now. <laughs> Physiologically speaking, I am going through it, as they say. <laughs> nah, I don't need a nap. No naps. All right, this has been five minutes. I want to see, I want to see our, our update. I want to see how this is working. Here, hold this, Shannon. Okay, all right, so we're gonna open this bad boy up just like, just like Chandler showed me. See, there you go. Okay, that's the, this is the side where the ice is. Okay, as we can see, we still have plenty of ice. You love to see it. But after five minutes, of rolling it around on feet stream. Let's see what we got. We got uh, cream all over the floor. Uh, that's fine. Didn't get any on my dress. Fantastic. What do you think? It looks like it's becoming less maybe possibly. Is this anything? Hold on, let me get another screen. Guys, I don't think this is gonna work. When do I give up? Well, the thing is, if you had been kicking it around, like really shaking it vigorously for a while, then maybe. But uh, I don't know how much more liquid it looks than that before. I don't know. What do you all think? What's my strap here? What? I think that you probably shouldn't have watered down on the heavy cream. It's Nah, that's <laughs> that baby shit. I can go all the way, obviously. Um, alrighty, so I don't think this is happening. Bale says I think it'll work eventually. Um, this product feels like a stretch in the first place. So, okay, you say that it feels like a stretch, but actually the reviews were pretty positive. There were some, I read all the reviews and people seemed like, okay, I will say. In their reviews, they said that uh, it takes a lot of effort, but it does work eventually. <laughs> so maybe I should have known that going in. Okay, here's what we'll do. Here's how we'll do this. We're gonna give this five more minutes on foot stream. Can you do that, Chandler? I mean, we could just start shaving it vigorously instead. That's harder, but it might be better. Yeah, like really, really shake it for five minutes. Pass it back to four. Do, you, do you really think shaking it does more than um it? It? Okay. all right so here's what we'll do 
we'll do uh, shaking it for five more minutes, right? And whatever we get, I'm gonna put it in a cup and drink it. Oh, what, whatever, whatever the end result is, I'll put it in a cup. It does smell very terrible. I I don't even notice it. I do not even notice the mask. Okay. I mean, I've I've also been born. I've been born into the scent at this point. Okay. Alrighty, so. Let's see, are we framed good? Alright, do you want to join me for these last five minutes, Chandler? Come here. Come here, come in, come in. All right, so let's see. Bale says, I think it's a matter of we keep interrupting the process at this point. No, nah, I mean, I don't know necessarily. The outside of the ball is like coated in nasty, like garlic cream. Yeah, yeah, it is. We're being very brave about this. It smells so bad. We're being very brave about it's this. Too. It's like really hard to hold on to. Okay, wipe it down then. It's not that bad. It's literally not that bad. Oh my gosh. It's it's literally the same as like a carbonara. Right? It's the same as like a um it's the same as like a chicken alfredo, you know? <laughs> there you go. Yeah, you okay. It's okay. It actually is really hard to do that for very long. Come on. Come on. All right. Let's see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got a minute and a half? You got a minute and a half, and you spent like 30 seconds white watching it. <laughs> I'll do this for the last three minutes. Okay. Okay. Yeah, sure. All right. Would you please be charming? Tell a story for us, Shannon. <laughs> Can you tell us a story uh... for us? Uh, I woke up this morning, um, Here, and, oh, you gotta point that. okay, uh, I downloaded a Pokemon X. Yeah, tell us about your Pokemon. Um, I own it. I got the ROM for it. I have, uh, upscaled it and I'm emulating it. It's pretty cool because, um, one of the problems with playing the 3DS Pokemon games is that they're ugly because their resolution is so bad. But then I found out that you can just download them as, you know, emulated versions and the emulator just upscales it so it looks really good. And I'm like, oh, cool. And you can download a texture pack to make all the like regular assets that don't upscale easily uh, look nice. So that's pretty cool. I went ahead and randomized some of the aspects of it too, because I was like, let's make it a little bit more interesting. Um, looks pretty good. I like how, uh, Abby has engaged the handles. I know, and I almost fucking opened it and spilled the shit everywhere. Oh, God. It's not that bad. It's, I, okay, well, maybe you don't think it's that good. Oh. I'm looking at uh, another texture pack for Lost World 3. So the models look so clean up scale, and then there's like these pixelated rings. That's like, that's how it is in the Pokemon game so far. It'll be like the crispest battle animations, and the Pokemon models look good, and the overworld models look awesome. Um, and then like, it'll be like, Treyer Joey wants to battle, and his like pixely ass just like slides into frame. And I'm like, ah, that's why I need to go find the texture pack to fix that. So that's the, uh, that's the part that I need to download a texture pack for, but like, other than that, it's all been fine so far, I guess. Um, cause I, I downloaded all that and made sure it was running and it was working. And then I went to Costco to get, uh, some stuff for the D and D game tonight. Cause the hosts are making fried chicken and they're like, just bring, you know, sides and drinks and whatever. And I'm like, okay, I guess I'll go, uh, Last week, 
Um, uh, the week before last, which was the last time we had a session, um, I... I'm not tired. Just keep talking. Huh. I'm not tired. Interesting. I'm not tired at all. <laughs> Alright. What'd you get at Costco? Um, I got the peanut butter pie, uh, that I saw a couple weeks ago, and then I saw like, news articles about it, and I don't know if it's because, like, the, the computer was following me around or something, and they were like, must create AI articles, buzz reviewing these peanut butter pies so that Chandler buys one. Um, but I was like, that sounds pretty good. So I picked one up for this D&D session. Um, along with sparkling waters and... And garlic ice cream. Now, three, two, one. <laughs> it's ready. Yeah, sure. It's ready. <laughs> it's ready. You're like, really going through it. The moment, no, I'm good. I'm not even tired. The moment has finally come. We are ready for the garlic ice cream. Let me get a cup. Disgusting. It's, it's actually really good. It's actually really good, Chandler. Okay. Oh my god, Blaze is here! Holy shit. Huh. Hi. Well, welcome to the chat. Welcome to the channel. It's so good to see you. Um, Blaze says, hello, my beautiful besties. Sorry I'm late. I was too busy being Jim Gigachad. Hell yeah! Let's fucking go! Also, oh my gosh, Penny is here. She says, good afternoon, cuties. Oh my gosh. You guys are just in time. Let me tell you what we went through. Here, I'll take it from here, Chandler. Do you want to hang around, or are you good? You're good? Okay. All right. Sounds good. Okay. So that was Chandler, by the way, that was my wife. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, so for, for those of you just joining us, here's an update, here's where we're at. So we made a garlic ice cream recipe from tastemade.com, I think is the name of the website. If you push the uh, exclamation point recipe command in chat, uh, it'll link you to the recipe. I recommend it, take a look at the recipe. It's really simple. It's garlic, heavy cream, salt, sugar, and vanilla extract. We cooked the garlic and the heavy cream in a saucepan, right, to infuse the flavors. Then, after cooking it for too long, we dissolved in the sugar, the vanilla extract, and the salt. We whisked it all together with a spoon, like you do, and then we put it into this. This is a ball ice cream maker, right? On one end, you put your ice cream ingredients, and on the other end, you put all of your ice. And what it does is you, you throw the ball around, you play with it, you have fun, right? For like 10 minutes, Chandler and I were kicking it around. Um, and then what's supposed to happen is the ice keeps it cool, the movement churns it into ice cream, and after like 20 minutes, that's what it says on the box, by the way, you guys, it says 20 minutes. You open this end and you got beautiful ice cream. That's, that's the idea. That's how it's supposed to work. <laughs> Blaze says, I'ma steal it. <laughs> Looks like I came at the perfect time. Um, chat is cutting off, but someone said they liked my dress, so thank you for that. I like this dress too. Um, Baltman, hello. You say, how the food going? Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna fucking find out. We're gonna find out in a second. Um, if you exercise with the ball, you can work off the ice cream calories before even eating any. Exactly. Now, there are a few hiccups in our in our recipe here. One, the recipe called for three cups of heavy whipping cream. I only had two. So, being the very intelligent, very charming, and very good looking person I am, I added soy milk. I added a cup of soy milk because we didn't have enough heavy cream. I added one cup of soy milk to substitute one cup of heavy cream. I don't think soy milk turns into ice cream is what I'm realizing. <laughs> Um, and then also when we put it into the ball, it was fresh out of the saucepan. So it was pretty hot. So I, and I think that prevented it from becoming good ice cream. Let's see. Um, Blaze says, actually, I said, I like Chandler's dress. Yours is I eat though. <laughs> you know what? Fair. You know what? Fair. I like Chandler's dress too. She has a beautiful dress and it looks very good on her. So I am, you know what? That is totally fair. 
Um, Allison, hello. Welcome to the chat. Welcome to the channel. It's so good to see you. You say ice silk. That's exactly it. Yeah. Uh, you melted the ice. Correct. Yes. The ice melts over time, which is actually why I've been replacing the ice uh, as we've been going through this. Every now and then I've been dumping out the ice and adding new ice in to keep it cold. Um, I just realized you're really tall. You're taller than the fridge. Yep, I am six feet tall. <laughs> It maybe it doesn't come through when I'm sitting down on stream, but yeah, I'm I'm an even six feet tall. Um, so yeah, I am I'm pretty tall. It's it's why I don't wear heels. Um tall. Oh my gosh. I look I don't love being tall, but I have no choice in the matter. So anyway, we've been rolling the ball around, we've been throwing it, we've been spinning it, we've been doing all this shit to it. And this should have churned into ice cream by now. I have a feeling it hasn't. I have a feeling that when we open this ball up, it is still going to be just liquid garlic cream. However, whatever is in this ball, I am going to pour into a cup and I am going to drink it. Okay? Whatever we got, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna drink it. <laughs> um Let's see, I am tall and wear heels to strike fear into my enemies. Yes, yes, Penny, I know you are, and I love you for that. I love you for that. Blaze says, am five foot six. <laughs> Blaze says, wrong. You should especially wear heels. Power. Penelope's got the right idea. <laughs> am I taller than my wife? I am. Yeah, I've got like half a foot on her. Um, and then Allison says, only one way to find out. That's right. Okay, so let's see. <laughs> Let's see if this thing worked. I don't think it did. All right. I So for those of you joining us, um, my mic doesn't have amazing range and I need two hands for this. So whenever I put my mic down, I can't I can't really talk very effectively. So when I put my mic down, I, I won't really be talking much. Um, so if it seems like I'm going between periods of lots of talking and not a lot of talking, that's why. Anyway, let's see. Let's see if I made ice cream. I think I know what we did. I think I know what we did. We made a garlic milkshake. Cause you know what? This is a bit creamier than the last time we looked at it. It is a bit more constituted into an ice cream texture, but it is not ice cream. I think if we kept at this for like another 30 minutes, we might get ice cream. 30 minutes, an hour, whatever. But I am too tired and I don't want to do this that much longer. However, I consider this a success. We did it. We made a garlic milkshake, folks, and I'm gonna reap what I sowed. I'm drinking this bad boy. Let's go. That makes you weak. <laughs> that makes you weak if you don't like where this is going. <laughs> Chandler, that's amazing. <laughs> I love the timing on that. Okay. So this is our garlic milkshake, um, which honestly, it doesn't look too bad, right? 
This just looks like a normal sort of vanilla milkshake. I bet it's good. This is like taking candy from a baby, which is fine by me. <laughs> which is fine by me. <laughs> Holy shit, Blaze, you're so fucking funny. You guys are so funny. <sighs> All right. I think it's going to be good. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to us. To fulfilling ambition. The garlic stream the garlic cooking stream has been on the agenda for a while and here we are. We've done it. Bon appetit. I feel the need to add for those of you who weren't here. The recipe called for two cloves of garlic. I put seven, or I put six cloves of garlic in this. I increased the garlic concentration by 300%. I just feel like I needed to say that before doing this. Everyone, grab your garlic milkshakes that you've been making alongside Abby. Yes, exactly. All of us will do this together. This has been an educational stream. Okay, anyway, etc., etc. Bon appetit. Hold on. Hey Chandler, <laughs> do you want to try some? She's going to try some. Hold on, let me pour some out. <laughs> Don't sound so glum. Now Chandler, for perspective, I just drank this entire glass. I don't that much. Here. You don't have to drink the whole thing. Just as much as you feel comfortable with. No? What are your thoughts? Well, it would be decent vanilla ice cream if it didn't have garlic. If it didn't have six cloves of garlic yeah, in it. It's uh, pretty horrible. Yeah, it's. It, <laughs> so you wouldn't even drink this whole cup? No, I don't think I need more than the tiny little. So, bit. so you wouldn't, for example. Look. I mean, it's drinkable. Are you drinkable? Your cup was worse. Your cup was worse. Oh my God. <laughs> Your cup was so much worse. Oh my God. Your cup was so much worse. Her cup was at the bottom. Your cup was concentrated. Mine actually tasted a little bit like vanilla ice cream with like a piquant of garlic. Oh, there's there were like flecks of garlic in hers. Yeah, no, yours is way worse. <laughs> oh my. That, I was gonna drink your whole cup as a bit. Yeah, yeah, get some water. I was gonna drink your whole cup as a bit. Oh my God. That last, that last, like that little cup right there is so bad. Holy shit. <laughs> little Mio, yeah. Um, <laughs> also Blaze says, whoa, looking cool Chandler. Blaze says this is Wario's favorite dessert. Um, earlier in stream, we were speculating over what a um, what a Wario-themed ice cream would look like. <laughs> um, we decided it would be garlic, mustard, jelly, and like, I don't know, I guess vanilla ice cream as a base, maybe. <laughs> um, Anti-vampire smoothie. <laughs> Chandler says the house smells anti-vampire right now. Um, <laughs> Blaze, 
Uh, vale says this stream is sponsored by Mio, which it is. Uh, Blaze says, hey, I remember Mio. Uh, getting the sensory experience by eating garlic before the stream. See, there you go. Exactly. Allison, you are you are getting into character. You are getting invested. I love that for you. So, um, Penny says anti-vampire smoothie. And I talked about this at the beginning of the stream, right? But um, the motivation for this stream idea was, as some of you may remember, God, I still taste the garlic. Holy shit. Th that is vile. I, dr I drank this whole cup and it was okay. Like, it was still bad, but it was, like, tolerable. That is vile. That is terrible. I am so... Okay, okay. All of you guys that were saying this is a bad idea. Uh-huh. That's the devil's cup. God, it's bad. You know what? If I use... If I use two cloves and turn this into ice cream properly, pro it would probably be okay. It actually... I could see that being okay. Anyway. Uh, the idea for this stream came from a Nintendo DS game called The Herbs Sims in the City. There's a scene in this game where a character is interrogating you because they believe that you're a vampire. And the way that you prove to them that you're not a vampire is you tell them that your favorite food is garlic ice cream. And when I got to that scene on stream, I was really taken by that, that line. I was like, is garlic ice cream a real thing? And I looked it up and I found a bunch of recipes for garlic ice cream. And I was like, okay, if I hit, I think it was like 400 followers, I'll make garlic ice cream. And we hit 400 a while ago, and I've had this on the agenda for a while. And um, now we're finally doing it. And holy shit. <laughs> holy shit. It's not good. Maybe if you make it properly, by the directions, it could be all right. But if you're a dumbass and you do it like me, no shot. So, yeah. <laughs> Chandler says the opposite of the angel's share. It's the the devil, the devil's dregs. You have the angel's share and the devil's dregs. That's exactly what this is. Um, where's Chef Figment? Oh no, I should have had Chef Figment lives in my bedroom. I should have had Chef Figment. You know, it's actually probably for the best I haven't had Chef Figment here because he for sure would have got covered in garlic cream. Absolutely, he would have. Um, the angel's share is the evaporated part of barrel aged liquor. The devil's share is whatever that is. Yeah, exactly. There he is. There he is. Well, he, again, it might because part of the frame is covered up. So I actually, okay, that works. Yeah, he's kind of there. <laughs> there he is. There's Chef Bigman. Um... Uh, so not the California food guide. I don't know what you mean by that, but I agree. Uh, Chef Ramsay would have definitely upchucked and fired Abby. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Gordon Ramsay would not have lived for this shit. 100%. So what are we at? We're at like, we're at like two and a half hours. Um, I think, <laughs> hey guys, I think I need to end the stream pretty much immediately. <laughs> I feel so nasty right now. <laughs> I think, I think we basically, I think we're just going to pick a chance. Like, I don't even think I have an outro or anything. Like, I feel like, okay. I feel like after drinking that like devil's share cup, I think I actually need to call an ambulance and go to the hospital. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like I'm gonna vom. Um, fair enough, I got stuff to do today. Yeah, 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 we, we all got stuff to do. So here, um, we'll, we'll do a little wrap. Here, here's what we'll do, here's what we'll do. I'll take you guys back into the studio with me. I'll take you back into the studio with me because I have to, I need my computer to end stream. Yeah, hang tight, don't leave just yet because, uh, if you hang around for the raid, you will get a free 300 channel points. So, let's... Oh, shit. <laughs> We're good. We're good. Okay. My studio's a fucking mess right now, by the way. Oh, wait, I know what to do.
Hey, hey, look, isn't it just like old times? Remember back before? Back when we. Oh! Hey, it is just like old times. My camera fucking fell off my monitor. Just like it always. Just like it used to do. Just like it used to do all the time. Uh, I do not, yeah, I don't even have to check. We are obviously, by the way, we are obviously raiding Empress Deneb. That goes without saying. Um, <laughs> bye, tell Willow I love her. I will, of course I will. Um, but yeah, you guys know Empress Deneb. You know her, you love her. Um, she is a dear friend of the channel. Uh, I wrote the lore to her channel. Um, she is a... She is a VTuber. Um, her avatar is modeled after a serval cat. She's very cute. She's very fun. Um, she's been a dear friend of mine for several years now. Um, and she is celebrating uh, two... No, one year. This is her one year Twitch anniversary. So uh, she started streaming exactly one year ago. And she is doing a 24-hour live stream with lots of bits and goofs and gags. Um, and she, she's just really great. She's really special to me. So I think we should go give her a raid, bring the positive vibes. If you like what she's doing, give her a follow. Um, some of you may know her as Alice or Empress Timo. She's on the Discord. Um, but yeah. Anyway, I had a really fun time. This stream was a little wild. It was different from what I usually do. But I'm really happy I did it. And I'm really happy you guys came along with me. It was a lot of fun. And I hope you had fun too. Twitch is kicking me out now, so I'll catch you later. Bye. I love you. Bye, bye, bye.